that when this new season comes up, love bug, I want you to be prepared for it. I want you to be ready for it. And I want you, I'm asking, I'm inviting you to harness this energy because it's working whether you are conscious of it or not. The enigmatic entrepreneur whose words will make you sure. Know, trust, and believe. The master teacher has come to help you succeed. The gem dropper, the truth speaker, the voice in the universe that will bring you to your highest peak. Welcome to the Get High on Motivation Show with Mimi the Motivator, your favorite motivator's favorite motivator. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, love bug. I am your favorite motivator's favorite motivator, Mimi the Motivator, and welcome to another episode of Get High on Motivation, where we get together once a week so we can figure out how do we get better in life? How do we get from where we are to where we desire to be? Because whatever we desire, we deserve. Whatever we desire desires us. Let's let that be our affirmation for today. Whatever I desire desires me. Whatever I desire desires me. Whatever I desire desires me because it does. The reason you know it desires you is because because you desire it. Y'all like a match made in heaven. Whatever you have in your mind, whatever dreams, visions, goals, it doesn't matter how big, how bad, how beautiful, how luxurious, how expensive it may be. It is for you, love bug. And it is my job to help you get there however I can. So what I do is I do the homework. I read the books. I go to the workshops and attend the seminars. And then I get all that information and I pack it down. So I can give it to you in these quick little 30 minutes or less because I know you don't have all that time. I know that you are a busy professional. You are a leader. You out here moving and grooving. And today we're going to talk about how to move and groove with the right type of energy. But before that, as always, we're going to start with our food for thought. We got an affirmation for today and we're going to take some deep breaths because I don't know about you, but sometimes we just need to relax, relate and release. All right. So let's go ahead and take the deep breaths first before we even dive into our food for thought. I want to be sure that we are in an open space. I want to be sure that you and I are on the same vibrational plane before I open up my mouth and start dropping these niggas in there. All right, so close your eyes if you can. If you're driving or running or something like that, please don't close your eyes. Just keep them focused on a certain spot or something and be consciously breathing. So start with an out breath and blow all that air and energy out of your body, all that staleness, all that yesterday. The dayness. Blow it all out. And slowly inhale through your nose. And blow it all out again. Inhale a little deeper and a little slower. Filling up the belly, the heart space, all the way to the crown of your head. And blow it all the way out until you can't blow anymore. And then blow just a little bit more. We want all of that old still energy out of our existence. So blow it out and breathe in fresh new energy. Breathe in here and now. Breathe in the abundance that is awaiting you. All right? Feel better? I hope you do. So today's food for thought comes from my boy Elvis. I'm a Tennessee girl. You know, I was raised in Tennessee. I wasn't born there, but I am through and through a Southern Belle. And all of us Southern Bells know about Elvis. And Elvis has this song called A Little Less Conversation. And in this song, he says, a little less fight and a little more spark. Close your mouth and open your heart. I'm going to repeat that for myself. A little less fight. And a little more spark. Close your mouth and open your heart. I believe, love bug, in a lot of conversations and situations that we find ourselves involved in, that that is what we're really needing to do more than anything. As much as we want to speak our peace, as much as we want to be heard and understood and comprehended and accepted and all of that good stuff, the truth of the matter is, is that we need to close our mouths. We need to shut up, period. 
I don't even like using that word. When I was a teacher, I didn't allow you to use that in my classroom. I use it a little more that I'm getting older. But really, just close it. Close your mouth and open your heart and listen with your heart to the person that you are in conversation with. Whether it is a personal or professional conversation, listen with your heart. When you listen with your heart, you hear what people really are saying. You hear what they're not saying. You, you feel what they're saying. And when you feel what someone's saying, it puts you more in vibrational alignment to connect with them, to be able to grow with them or even figure out, mm, it's time for me to cut ties and go my own way. But we need to close our mouths because our mouths are keeping us from being able to listen. You cannot listen and talk at the same time. It's just not possible. You have to be quiet long enough so you can hear through somebody's message. Hear through the words that they're saying and get the real message. Find out what are they really saying. Because what they're saying is usually not what they really mean. And we need to know what they mean. And then we open our mouths because when we have taken the time, invested the energy, closed our mouths and opened our hearts to listen, you are here more than you have ever heard before. And I swear, your wife or your husband may have been saying the same thing to you all the time over and over and over. Your best friend might have said it all the time. And it never really resonated. And that was because your mouth was too busy going. Your mind was too busy going. And your heart was closed down to whatever they were saying. We need to open our hearts for healing. Sometimes you have to open up your heart so all that festering stuff can get a little air, air out and heal. But as long as our heart is closed when we're in conversations, we are not going to get the results that anybody desires. The person speaking or us listening, involving ourselves in any conversation, there is an objective. And we need to be clear of what that objective is. But if we do all the talking... We stand the chance of not learning something, not really understanding the person before us. And we might even take the chance of making them feel unheard, unseen, unappreciated, misunderstood. Even if you don't completely understand what somebody is saying or what their point of view is or where they're coming from, we still owe it to them to open up our hearts and really listen. And see what they're saying. If you listen to your clients with your heart, I bet you will close more deals. It's not about us talking and us about us informing them and telling them how we can change their lives and what we can do with them, how we can change their business and all that good stuff and how it's the best. We got the best program. No, love bug. It is more about us having a full understanding of what is our client really looking for? What are their true desires? What are their real challenges? What are their pain points? Because as entrepreneurs, as professionals, we have to speak to pain points. You got a great idea. Yeah, I know. And I know it seems like it's the best solution ever. But if you cannot tell me how it speaks to my pain point, then you're talking over my head. So, again, the king says a little less fight and a little more spark close your mouth and open your heart yeah thank you thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> all right love bugs i want to thank you for tuning in and hanging out with me for another episode of get high on motivation if you are interested in learning more about how you can incorporate these moon phases into your planning or actually allowing them to be your guide in making some business decisions so that way you can, you know, catapult forward into the success you desire and deserve. Then be sure that you have hit whatever button you need to hit and that you are here with me in just a few days. So, what resonated with you today? Go ahead and hit that button that says send me, me a message and let me know. Or if there's something else that you want to hear me talk about or you need an uh, answer to or if you want to know the spiritual meaning behind a certain ailment. I'm your girl, and that's the button to click to send a message directly to me. I love you. Be happy. Be healthy. Be you. I am Mimi the Motivator, your favorite motivator's favorite motivator, and this is the Get High on Motivation Show. See you next time. The time is here, the time is now Eternal life, so pick up and put on the crown Goodbye to yesterday Welcome to tonight, eternal
The time is here, the time is now, life is here, living now, and life for tears. Listen now, have no fear, put on your crown, the time is here, the time is now, life is here, living now, and life for tears. Listen now, have no fear, and put on your crown. Eternal life, eternal life, recognize the difference. Stop tonight, stop tonight.